All right, ready to make the magic happen, as they say. Well, I feel like you should know before we get started that this, this little thing, uh, it's just because I haven't washed my hair all week and I felt like if I put something in it, you wouldn't notice. Also, if you look closely, my dog had her first grooming appointment this week in North Carolina and they gave her this and now I've commandeered it. So it's mine now. My little dog bandana hair bow. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, Katie from the K Show blog here. And this week I'm coming to you with a quick video on using no vacuum space saver bags uh, while you're traveling. So I'll share sort of the ones I use. I've been using them since about the end of last year. So the ones I use, how I use them, what they're good for, what they're not good for. And then you could sort of decide if uh, they're worth getting for your travels. Oh, how should I sit? Maybe I'll stay this way. I hope you guys appreciate, like, I'm doing the best I can at uh, making content and trying to make content that's helpful uh, while I'm kind of trapped in this hotel room because I can't film outside, I'm not allowed to. Uh, so I'm doing the best I can. I hope you can appreciate that. I hope it's bringing you some sort of value and uh, yeah, well, that's it. Let, let's just get into it. Okay, so these are the ones I use, just so you can see for like size-wise. Pretty big. Um, I got them off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for the ones I actually got. Um, but I think the brand was called Acrodo. Yes, Acrodo. And they came in a 10-pack. It was about $20. Like, give or take a couple of dollars, but it was about $20. So $20 for a 10-pack. Not too expensive. Um, but yeah, there'll be a link, uh, affiliate link in the description for the ones I got. Pretty decent size. Now we'll just get straight into like using them, pros and cons. I love pros and cons, right? So I wouldn't use these for every trip necessarily because most of the time I don't need to sp save space that much. Like uh, I usually have enough room in this backpack that I use, uh, but I have been taking one uh, for the what little trips I, <laughs> I have done since I got them. Uh, but so when I went to Poland, I didn't need to like use it for all my stuff. But I took one with me and just left it at the bottom of the bag. And then as I got any dirty clothes or anything, I would just put it in, in this space saver bag. And it just really helped keep things organized so that when I got home, I just take it out of the space saver bag. Like that's all my dirty stuff. And then go straight into the laundry. Keeps things very organized. And you know I love being organized. Uh, so that was really handy. I think I'd keep doing that if I wasn't like pressed for space. Uh, another good way to use them that I could see being a benefit, but I haven't had to do personally because I haven't done a lot of travel this year, um, is just separating things like taking that organization up a notch, you know, keeping all your t-shirts in one bag, your jeans in the other, your socks and undies in the other. So using it for that, that extra organization, that would be really beneficial as well, even if you didn't necessarily need the space. Um, because for summer trips, like uh, the clothes are so light, like I don't, I'm not like pressed for space usually but those are two other ways to use it aside from just like the obvious way of needing space you know what I mean I've been using them actually this time for moving I just put all the bulkier stuff the stuff I know I'm not going to be wearing they all went in these bags just to have like an extra layer of protection for the travel and then they're they're also like uh, packed down a little bit and then separate from the stuff I need so it's sort of a mix of the space saving and then organizing and also protecting them right the obvious way to use them is to save space and, and they are good for that but I think I would only need to use them to save space when it's a winter trip so when I used them uh, I went to like Norway Sweden Latvia uh, over Christmas and they were like hugely beneficial for that trip because everything you're packing is so much bulkier and taking up so much room and I still only wanted to have a backpack to do that so since I didn't want to get like an actual suitcase and check it um, I was still able to fit like two weeks worth of stuff and buy souvenirs you know because I use these bags and it just compressed down a lot of the bulky sweaters and then you have extra layers so they're just like naturally packing a lot more and they they were really helpful for that trip uh, because I also took like this giant dress to take one photo in and so I like packed that down as much as possible but it was taking up a lot of my space as well so I had that stupid big dress and all my winter gear for two weeks and like the only way I could see myself packing that in just a backpack was because of these bags. So they are really great for the space saving as well. If you are, you know, you do lean more on the overpacking side, probably just like this 20 bucks, just grab a packet of these and then start, uh, start uh, using them to help give you 
free up a little more space. So the cons, I guess, or the downside to them, uh, for this specific one, is that it uses a little seal like this at the top, and that's what seals it shut, but they just come on and off like this. So if you have a few bags and you're taking stuff in and out, like they will always flip off uh, pretty easily. And so it's, it's not gonna undo the seal, like if it's already sealed, it's gonna stay uh, shut, but you just find like, uh, I find these all over, you know, sometimes like when I'm, when we were traveling or like now since moving, like I sort of find them kind of like bobby pins, you know, they're just always falling off. So that is a little bit annoying. And then sometimes, the reason I don't use it for like a regular trip, unless I'm really pressed for space, is because I feel like with some Tetra style packing, you know, like this fits here, this fits here, I can fit more sometimes than like having to squish it down and it's not necessarily like the most um, stackable shape or like, uh, sp not space saving, but uh, like maximizing what space you have type shape. So it's so like I said, when we did that winter trip, Definitely, because everything was so bulky, like, it wouldn't have all fit without them. But for a regular trip, like, I can usually squeeze, like, socks into shoes and squeeze things here and there and, like, uh, squish things down that way, you know, just by playing Tetris with the packing. So, uh, that's, it sort of, like, depends on how you pack, though, right? Like, and how, how much you overpack. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll get into how to use them. I think since it's going to be noisy, I'll just explain it and then put the video of me actually doing it over the top. But what you'd want to do is you just get your stuff and you put it in, like put things in one at a time. And you want to, you don't want it to be too bulky and round. Like you want to keep it sort of as flat as possible because that's going to help when you have to put it in the actual suitcase or backpack or whatever you have. And these do fit in like a backpack. I've used it in my, my big black Patagonia backpack and then my sort of the red one that has all the compartments I'll show you <laughs> but I've used them in both they fit in both and then suitcases also but yeah you want to put your stuff in try to keep it as flat as possible and then leave a little bit of space at the top so you have room uh, because as you start pushing the air out it's gonna slide forward a little bit so leave that space at the top uh, just so you have room and then you're just gonna squeeze the air out so one thing you could do is roll it up. I don't really like this technique uh, because it, it feels like everything's just falling out and moving too much. So I like to just sit on it. I'm heavy. <laughs> I've got enough weight behind me to squeeze some air out just by sitting on it. So I kind of kneel on it and, and sort of knead the air out and just keep going and then uh, closing the seal a little bit at a time and then getting more air out and closing it and getting more air out and just doing like a layering of those two things. And then, yeah, once you've got it sealed shut, it's ready to go. You just go until you can see that, you know, the majority of the air is out, as much as you can get out. And then it's done, and you just chuck it in your backpack, and you're ready to go. So when you stack them in your backpack, uh, it's like I said, these the little clips, you know, can come off if they get caught on something. So, you know, just try and be aware of that so you can uh, you have 10 bags and 10 clips, you know, and not get them lost. They stay in there for ages, the air will naturally start escaping, but that's like you have to leave it in there long term. And if you're traveling, you're not going to have that problem uh, because you're going to be probably in and out of the stuff all the time and like resealing it. So that's not really an issue when you're traveling. But yeah, then I like them because at home, you know, you have the double advantage of using them for storage. I use mine at home just for storing like uh, stuff. Like before I moved, I have my uh, prop photo outfits like the the big black dress and the clown outfit and the Harry Potter thing and so I would just keep everything separate in that uh, or other winter things that like I use quite rarely so they're great for having that double use of of storage as well and just protecting your stuff linens is probably another way I would use it um, extra linens so I think they're worth the investment even though I'm not using them in every trip they have so many other uses that like I think it's worth the $20 and they've been really handy for me especially in winter so yeah I hope that's been helpful I hope it's helpful for you to decide like if it's worth it for you and your travel style I definitely think it's worth it just because you can use them for so many other things like it's not only space saving while travel so I think it's worth the 20 buck investment uh, like I said there's a link below if you want to check them out otherwise subscribe to my channel if you or haven't already I always forget to ask this so if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel it really really helps and I'm trying to actively grow it this year so if you could subscribe press like leave a comment do all that stuff that helps out costs you nothing means the world to me really appreciate it and uh, otherwise I'll see you guys next time bye